Hi, my name is Paul Weaver. Um, uh, I'm president of Chip Energy in Goodfield, Illinois. Chip Energy is trying to develop uh, basically the infrastructure required to start recycling uh, low value materials that presently are landfilled and or uh, laid in the field to waste. But we're trying to build a facility that will allow those materials to be upgraded uh, to a higher value and possibly someday uh, fuel for your car. We look forward to uh, being one of the innovators that's part of the new bioeconomy. I would recommend to a lot of businesses uh, the Central Illinois location. I like the quality of life in Central Illinois. That's why I've uh, stayed here and, and uh, raised a family. I've worked with UEC for many years. Um, uh, Sally Hanley has been my uh, representative for, for many years. They helped me with uh, finding grant writers. Uh, they've uh, uh, helped us with uh, getting some low interest loans from the counties. We've gotten loans, we've paid them off, and we've gotten more loans. And the programs have been extremely beneficial for me in, in making my business a success in this area. Chip Energy uh, presently recycles woody biomass and uh, repurposes uh, wooden crates, pallets, and we look forward to uh, more people from the community coming out and helping us recycle those items and keep them out of the landfill. Hi, my name is Rick McDonald owner of Precision Technology Group. Precision Technology Group is a technology company that uh, does a lot of things in the communications and electronic industry. We do a wide range of technology solutions. Uh, one of the good things is, is we hit all the way from residential to commercial. The GPEDC, um, I reached out to them uh, early on when I was thinking about starting Precision Technology. I think it's something that a lot of people don't know about and then once they learn about it, they're very thankful for the resources and, and, and what all they do for you as your business and personally to help you get through the process as a, as a new business. I encourage people to come out to Precision Technology to see what we can offer or at least pick up the phone and call us, 367-9500. Just because we're a small business doesn't mean we can't provide a large solution. And we absolutely can and we, we are most definitely price competitive and we can provide everything that the big boys can provide. My name is Patrick Ruder, and I'm the owner of Red Bud Ridge Custom Shop in Bartonville, Illinois. The business that we do, we are an architectural and millwork uh, custom company. We do mostly hospitals, schools, banks. Uh, we do all the millwork casework. Red Bud Ridge is, is a commercial uh, casework company, and uh, we don't do any residential work, so we're, we, we've always done it by word of mouth. It should be word of mouth. And people that if you want the job done right on time, uh, the best quality, that's really what we're trying to do. At one time we were going through a real financial struggle and we talked to Sally Hanley and uh, basically I guess I can't say enough about how amazing she has been for us and uh, just the, the, the ability to have somebody who really does care to not only help us out of the bad times, but then when things are good, they even help us even more. My name's Terry Manning. I'm Vice President of SMF Incorporated. Yeah, we do steel fabrications. One of our main suppliers is Caterpillar Tractor Company. So we do, uh, we cut raw material with lasers and saws and that and so forth. And then uh, we do a lot of welding, a lot of CNC machining. We also do powder coat paint and uh, some assembly work and uh, package up for shipping. Either Caterpillar or that are tied in with Caterpillar, there's a lot of opportunity. For, for this type of, of business in this area. We've gotten uh, a couple of different loans through the Woodford County and the EDC was, was uh, involved in helping us uh, secure those loans. Yes, yeah, so we'd like to thank the EDC for all the help that they've given us and uh, look forward to working with them more in the future.